everybody, it's Amber, and I want to share two more traveler's notebooks that I made. These are so fun to make, and I'm really addicted to making them. So I used the pumpkin spice paper pad, and I think I showed that in another video, but I used that paper pad to create these traveler's notebooks, and I got a tutorial here on YouTube, and I'm going to link it below, where um, this lady made... The, the dimensions to fit those jot um, three to a pack notebooks that you can get at the Dollar Tree and they they come out just like the composition books where you can unstaple them out of there or actually cut them out they're sewn in and then you can staple them into your own covers so that's what I did and I'm gonna link the tutorial below that I followed and also again I'm very 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 inspired by the wonderful Bona over at Live Love Scrap and Sabrina Ann. So I'm going to link both of their channels below as well. So let me go ahead and show you the notebooks that I used. These are the ones I'm talking about. These are from the Dollar Tree and they're one of the best premiums you guys that I've ever found in the Dollar Tree. And my Dollar Tree only had a few but then I went to like uh, I went to Tucson and we went to a couple different ones and then Phoenix and I found like so many so I purchased quite a few and I was able to make several inserts with these and I think that the designs that they come on these fall ones are super cute themselves so you could even just make the traveler's notebook and then put these in as inserts okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and get started in sharing these with you Okay, so here's the first one. I used this really adorable pumpkin paper and I laminated it, of course, for the cover. And here's this cute little journal card that I cut out of the um, cut apart page from the paper pad. And I just rounded the corners for a little decorative piece. Love that paper. And then on the inside, I went ahead and put another one of those Target clear pockets, just like Sabrina Ann does. She gave the idea and is such a cute idea to put all your ephemera and just little journal cards and these cute little strips of fall words. I think they're so cute. So I just put those there and then I put some more of those journaling cards out of the cutout sheet from the paper pad. I just think they're so adorable and I love all the cutouts. You can make cards with these too. So I just put those in there just in case I want to do some journaling and then like glue one of these down to the pages. But these go right back into the cute little clear target pocket. And these little pockets, um, I showed the package in my last one of my last videos. So those just get slipped right back into there. So for my inserts, the first insert I used the pumpkin spice paper and then I used half of the amount of paper out of one of those Dollar Tree notebooks with the piece of craft paper in the middle. So there's the center there with the band. Um, I just stapled those pages in. So I made three inserts of notebooks and then I made one folder which I'm going to show you here in just a second. So there's that really cute insert. And I just love making these, you guys. I'm obsessed. Um, so there's that one. And then this little one here is a folder that I created. I just kind of eyeballed the measurements because I didn't have exact measurements on it. I just wanted to kind of make it the same size as the notebook inserts. So I made that using the pretty paper out of the Pumpkin Spice collection, of course. And you can stick so much in here. A lot more will fit than you see here. I just have like a cute little tag and then a little um, journaling card. But so much more will fit in there. So and then here's my last insert. I used this really pretty paper. And here's the center. And so I just, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I used that craft paper in the center to cover the um, holes from the stitching. And then I just have the back target pocket with a couple of more journaling cards that I got out of the cutout page. So that's my first one, you guys, of these little, I call them mini, I guess, uh, traveler's notebooks. And they fit the jot journal, um, the three pack journals that you can get at the Dollar Tree. So that is the first one. And then let's go ahead and move on to the second one. 
Okay, so here's the second one, and I covered this one with, well, I made the traveler's notebook out of my absolute favorite page out of that paper pad, and then I used that journaling card for the front, but isn't that the most beautiful paper ever? So same thing, you guys. I'm going to just walk you through this, and I'm actually going to set this to music because it's pretty much identical to the other one, except it has different paper.